Glad to see you made it. Thanks to the secret passage through your base. It was quite a sight. Secret passage? Don't let the others hear you say that, or you'll have a lot of Asura knocking at your door. And you are? This is Ragard. He's a scout with this caravan. He says Amadis was here. He joined up with our expedition right before we went through the tunnel. After we made camp here, I set out to do some scouting. I also made peace offerings to the Tanakh for trespassing in their territory. Amadis wanted me to ask around about some place called... The Rot. What did you find out? Most I learned was that it's where the Tanakh took their prisoners. Somewhere far to the west near Thorn Marsh, the Lowland Clan's capital. He set out to find it not long after. Uh, on his own? I tried to warn him, but... He was dead set on going. What happened when you went through the tunnel? Nothing. Our crew split into two groups to pass through. Everyone here was part of the first crossing. Aside from some pitch black passages, it was quiet. Whatever befell the second group spared us. Steel Spark be praised. But you best talk to Porkov about that. He knows a bit more than I do. Did Amadis say anything about why he was heading to the Rot? Afraid not. He was a man of few words. Sounds like him. Did he look okay to you? More or less. He seemed shaken when we learned the tunnel had collapsed behind us. But then again, so was everyone around here. So you're a scout for this crew? Anything I should know about the area? Where to start? Down south, we've got a trio of Osirum trying to delve into the ruins of the sand. There are more of you? They're the ones we followed out here in the first place. And then there are all the other folk, who broke away as soon as we got to this side of the tunnel. Salvagers, explorers, all sorts of daring venturers. Just how many of you were there? Enough to lose track, that's for sure. I've also spotted some rebels a while back, too. Seems like they've been patrolling the desert. Heard all about the rebellion from the Tanakh up in Scalding Spear. That's the Desert Clan's capital, north of here. Sounds like you've really gotten to know the area. It's what I do. Thanks, Ragert. This has been helpful. Hope you find him. Okay, I'll head to Thormarsh. Meet me there. Hold on. What? You're willing to go to the ends of Tanakh's territory to find this guy. No hesitation. Of course, he's one man alone in the Forbidden West. I'm just worried about him. I think it's more than that. I'll meet you near the Lowland capital. But then, you're going to tell me who Amadis really is. Fine. I'll lay low, north of the village. See you there. Barely made it back alive. Thanks for letting me know.
they get to it? I'm not giving up. Please. I should make sure she's okay. Spike is still intact. Rigs still playing. You okay there? You took out those machines. I'm grateful, but you should go now. There's nothing to see here. So this rig of yours, it's receiving sound through that wire from the thing up on the cliff, what you call a spike. But the message is only a fragment, and you're trying to pick up the whole thing? How did you figure all that out? I've learned a few things in my travels. If you want, we could talk about it. Maybe I can help? You do seem downright knowledgeable. So go ahead. Shoot. How did you first hear the message? I used to be a smith up in the claim. Wasn't an easy life. A lot of hard work without much to show for it. Then one day, I heard a whisper coming from a steel rod. Faint, like the last fingers of steam coming off a cooling forge. When I moved the rod around, the whispers got louder. I did some tinkering, built my rig, and did my best to follow that sound. Further west I came, the stronger it got. Then I found that spike up there. When I hooked up my rig, the words were clearer than ever. What do you think the message is? I don't know. There's something sad about it. Feels like it's from one lost soul to another. I'd sure like to know what it means. Your rig's impressive. How does it work? Well, like you said, the spike up there seems to capture the sound. It travels by wire down to my contraption. I, I put some coils in there and a light sheet of metal that vibrates, making the sound louder. I'm not exactly sure why it works, but it just does. And you set it up out here all alone? I'm not the trusting type. Pretty much everything I do is all alone. You're no ordinary tinker. Didn't used to be a tinker at all. More of a metal worker. Came from Mainspring. I can well to seem so fine, you could barely see it. Not that I ever got any credit for it. But you see, up there, you've got to be a man to get ahead. I once had a shot at joining a first-rate crew, one of the best forges in the claim. But I didn't get the job. My own brother wouldn't vouch for me just because I'm of the female persuasion. Anyhow, at least out here I don't have to worry about any mainspring men talking down to me. Sounds like you're still mad at your brother. Some days I am. Other days, I miss him. He's passed on, you see. He didn't have the guts to go against the blast of the bellows and vouch for a lady. Even his own sister. It was cowardly. And I told him so. In fact, I told him we weren't family no more. But over time, I've had cause to regret it. 
He wasn't a bad sort. He knew how to make me smile. When he wasn't being such a lout. I'm sorry he's gone. Yeah. So am I. Let me have a look at that spike. I might be able to pick up more of that message. How? Oh. Let's just say I have a rig of my own. I didn't know Nora were tinkers. They're not, but I am, in a way. Be right back. Well, okay then. I guess. Just follow the wire to the spike at the top. And then please, just don't break anything. Keep this for a cook. Better get climbing. all that wire up a cliff wall. Oh, there's a spike. Might get better reception if I'm next to it. Find this in my stash later. Seem to get a fix on where the signal's coming from, though. Well, better let the tinker know I got a bit more of the message. This ought to be a good shortcut. Your rig is picking up an old world message. A recording of some kind. Thought as much. Did you hear more of it? A bit. It was recorded during... A, a war. A bad one. Maybe that's why it sounds so darn sad. There's... something about it that makes me think of my late brother. May his ashes stay warm in the forge. Not sure why, exactly. I, uh, I still can't get a fix on the source. Well, the words grew stronger when I got out here. What if you moved the rig now? I'll try to see if you can get a stronger signal elsewhere. Even if I could dodge the Tanakh and the machines, I can't lose that spike. Nothing else pulls down the words better. Okay. If it's an old world message... And let's try old world methods. They used to pinpoint signals by listening for them at three different spots. The taller, the better. And then they combined the information and used it to find the source. And you can do that? I think so. But your spike is only one spot. I need two more, both up high. Hmm. Well, there's a big bright tower in the Tanakh territory north of here. Yeah, that should work. I have another spot in mind, near a place I'm... Uh, camping. Wait. I don't know your name. Or why you do all of this for someone you just met. Aloy. And because I want to know what's out there. Same as you. Soga. And when you find it, Aloy... I'd be eager to hear what it is.
shelter. Chance to rest. Check my gear. Going down. Should help me pinpoint Silga's signal. Gotta climb up to look for Silga's signal. Point that signal. Just a little higher. Almost there. Okay, let's see if I can pick up Silga's signal. Well, I got more of the message, but not enough to find a source yet. Climbing the mountain where my base is should finish the job. Harris, 
you there. I see you, champion. Sit, please. You shouldn't miss this chance to trade. Be careful if you're traveling southwest, champion. Rebels have set up camp in the hills. I'm sure they'd be more than happy to dig your grave. Thanks for the warning. Sounds like the Denoth could use a hand dealing with these rebels. This mountain. The southern face is my best bet for a climb if I want to get more of Silka's message. Just gotta look for a path. Try using something other than shock ammo. to get higher to try and pinpoint Silga's signal.
Okay. I should try to find a good spot to pick up Silga's message. need to get to it.
My focus is picking up the signal that Silga found. I need to clear out the machines before I can look for the source. There you are. So, how to get to you? But I'll need to deal with these machines first. Find my way to the signal source. Well, not getting in that way. I should search for another way in. That. Oh, that looks promising. Right, into the water. inside.
this is water under the bridge. I only remember the good things. And I'll think about them when the darkness comes. Sounds like she really cared about him. Silga will want to know about this. And she'll definitely be interested in the transmitter inside that's been sending the message. I used trying to pull that. Stop coming from the spike. What happened? This is what was speaking to your rig. It's old world equipment used for communicating over long distances. The message must have shut off when I took it, but I heard the note the voice was talking about. What was it? During an ancient war, a woman was trying to deliver supplies to a man she knew. She wanted him to know that their Past disagreements didn't matter in the big picture. I should be thinking of him when the end came. Oh. I guess she and I are kin of a sort. I wish I could give my brother a message like that. Tell him that I forgave him. He would have wanted that. I know. This man, the, the old one, did he ever hear the message? I don't think so. I guess that's often the way of it then. But still, with the power of that device you found, the sender had hope that he might have heard it. What a feat, to send messages near and far. Can I keep this? It's a treasure. Of course. Thank you. Sometimes people don't ever get to hear what they should. But with this thing, maybe I can get them talking to one another. From Mainspring all the way to who knows where? Hey, I, uh, I found a few more things in the supply cache. Might be able to make something out of them. Can I use your workbench? Sure. Yeah, right over there. Anytime, Aloy. It's all yours. I think I know just what to do with these parts. That turned out well. Can't wait to try it. Now, what secrets does this transmitter thing hold? I thought that I can use it to put words of my own into the air. 